So it's similar to night vision that you may have seen in the movies, um, but it works much better than night vision. And it works whether there is different light sources. For example, you're coming into an inlet where there's bright light sources all around. Um, FLIR really takes all of the information for every single object around you in the water that the camera is pointed towards and converts it into a visual image. So we're gonna show you a screenshot of that as well. And I would make the case that in most South Florida recreational boating, FLIR, forward-looking infrared, which is also a brand name of a company that makes this camera, FLIR, FLIR is a better option because it takes the recreational boater and lets them see a visual image in pitch blackness uh, in most weather conditions um, and in just about any condition. So either with it bright lights in the background, complete darkness, uh, limited light, so it, just after sunset. So FLIR, as you can see from the screenshot here, takes all the heat signatures and converts it into a visual image in a very easy, user-friendly way. So radar has a learning curve, understanding what you're seeing, why you're seeing it, what it looks like. FLIR is just like seeing a visual image regardless of conditions, except one. The biggest challenge to FLIR is fog. And we don't typically encounter fog here in South Florida very often, which is why I say that FLIR is often a better uh, a better tool for the South Florida recreational boater. Now, as you can see, this particular Regal 36XO has both radar and FLIR. So you're set up for everything. Um, but it's important to know which tool to use. If you're gonna select one of the two, which one is gonna be best suited for your needs as a recreational boater. Um, and I would say for most users in most conditions, FLIR is a better option. Now, there are some exceptions. Fog, radar works much better in fog than FLIR does. All those water droplets uh, disperse the heat signature of objects, make it hard for FLIR to work in fog. Also, radar works to a much longer distance. Like I said, you can see out 50, 60 miles with a good radar system, uh, whereas FLIR, you might be able to see a couple of miles. Um, so if you are looking for bird, flocks of birds feeding offshore to, to find good fishing spots, radar is gonna be a much better solution. However, if you're navigating inlets in dark conditions or cruising to the Bahamas and finding channel markers in dark conditions, I would argue that FLIR is even a better bet. So that's just a, a little opinion as to which is best suited for South Florida recreational boating. They're both excellent tools. They both do very unique things and work in different conditions. But for most recreational boaters, I would argue that a FLIR system is your best solution. I'm Chris with Sundance Marine Miami. If I can be of assistance with any kind of techno technological questions, uh, use questions, or any other boating issues, or helping you buy a gorgeous new boat, please call 561-285-1212. Thank you for watching.